So today we did get our uh, delivery of three host truck campers in. Uh, this middle one here is a Tahoe. I'm not going to do uh, too much of an exterior shot here. Um, they're pretty uh, straightforward. Does have the awning and the exterior. Batteries go on uh, this side. This is kind of what your storage bin looks like. I know we always have people asking kind of how it's going to be equipped and all that good stuff, but you got the full length, it's just a little bit narrower. You've got some tanks in here, so. Uh, this one is designed to go on a short bed, so you're making a couple compromises just due to truck size, so. Pretty straightforward other than that. Propane. Got your lifts, swing outs, of course, on this one. Gravity water fill right there. Um, I know I'm going through the exterior quick, but again, that was kind of the intent. I'll sneak you guys inside. Uh, all your buttons are kind of setting right here, right when you walk in. And I guess I'll just show you the cabinet space here. They do a really good job with uh, maximizing everything. I mean, there's... I mean, there's a few inches here, but most other ones would have probably just closed it off and not given you anything. Where in here, of course, you got some options. Looks like you got a little rack there. I'd like to call it a magazine rack, but there's probably not too many uh, people reading those these days. Gen set, sea level, lights, all that good stuff. Um, again, here is the kitchen. This particular one looks like they went with uh, the microwave. Does still have this flip up countertop here. It's kind of hidden. And again, a little bit more restriction because you're on a smaller platform here. There we go. Big deep drawers. No complaints there. Again, looks like he's got the backup camera in here. Ready to rock and roll. Sliding over to the bathroom area. You got your toilet or your john, your sink. A little less storage in this one. Still carpeted, very nice. Uh, sneaking you guys up into the medicine cabinet area, and of course it is well lit. So you'll be able to see all that. And you got me there in the background. Uh, this one's got this interesting door scenario. If I can get it to unlatch. Kind of closes over there with magnets, so pretty straightforward. They still give you the towel racks, nice and hidden. Of course, this one's got uh, the roof vent still too. Still a huge shower. And uh, again, my uh, one of my favorites, re retractable, uh, what is it called? Shower door for RV and home. So apparently you can buy that for your house. You might have to look into that. Inverter controls over here. Um, of course, you guys all seeing these lights kind of zipping down the roof by now. AC in the center. Uh, they did uh, not opt for stereo in this one again. So it looks like uh, no fireplace, so we got some storage. Uh, again, no stereo right there. Do still have the coax, so you're plumbed and ready to go if you wanted to add one. No big deals there. And again, I'm showing you guys this thing just as it comes from the factory. It has not even been checked in yet. Technician hasn't entered it. I was the first one in. So, of course, there's a couple things a little dirty here and there. But it's actually in really good shape compared to how the other things come in. Nice uh, shelf up front. You've got some side storage, which I'll get you to. Uh, this one's a little bit different. You don't have that hole in the wall. But it is all prepped to go here and uh, ready to rock and roll if you wanted to add your own television. Um, again, for a short bed truck, look at all the space in here. This is huge. I and mean, not much more space you could ask for. A huge RV fridge and freezer. All the way down to the floor. And I am going to sneak you up here as promised. If I can do this with one hand, there we go. Apparently my right hand, uh, my dominant hand, works a little better, of course. So that's interesting that how they do this hanging right here. If you kind of see, it's front to back, or not front to back, it'd be east to west. 
so you can get a bunch of clothes in here versus just a bar going across which nothing would fit in so I kind of actually appreciate that two uh, regular power ports up by the bed looks like they probably didn't opt for the uh, the charger this table right here um, will attach to the front of this couch and of course as you can see it's pretty highly adjustable from an up and down swing it around kind of a scenario so it'll give you a bunch of options so here is this unit as a whole again phenomenal size for uh, the smaller truck beds I don't know that I get you into here there you go and of course I didn't ever go over this but they all have you know power controlled lifts and all that good stuff so you will have some options if you guys have any questions you want to get your hands on one um, these are pretty much just order out at this point um, host does not mass produce these so they're very very limited in supply right now i've got something slot open for say june july ish and then we're probably looking around september for my next run if you want one let me know